we just decided today to go for a drive in Brighton and uh, it's a beautiful day it's like I don't know mid 30s and it um, seems quite nice we're down here by the harbor and this is our first stop so uh, enjoy You want me to walk on that? Watch me fall in. Well, as far as I know. Okay. Uh, so the uh, Trisha's birthday tour continues. So this is our second stop in Brighton. Um, it's a beautiful view. I guess it's Lake, Lake Ontario, but uh, a, lot of, a lot of homes along here. And I can see why people would want to live down here. It's great stuff. Swan. That's cool. Jay. Uh, down here at the Memory Junction Museum in uh, Brighton, Ontario. Here we are at the Grand Trunk Railway Station in Brighton. Uh, apparently this uh, train station was constructed in 1857 and currently is one of the nine remaining in Canada. And it's on the busiest rail line in, um, in Canada, um, but it's been closed in 1962. So now it's just kind of a historic relic, which is a shame, but it's got all these interesting old trains. So pretty cool. Long train, holy moly. I hope that's not cattle or any other animal. I bet you it is. Off to the slaughterhouse. Shame, shame. Okay, we made it down to uh, downtown uh, Brighton and. Uh, I'm at a World War I a memorial, and uh, they did a nice job in uh, giving tribute to uh, the soldiers that passed. I guess they were all from Brighton.
Okay, we got Main Street here in uh, Brighton, Ontario. Trish is checking out the uh, listings for uh, homes here in Brighton. Some incredible deals. Uh, Trisha's ripe old age, he uh, has to stop and take a rest uh, every so often. And this is Young Street. Elizabeth Street. We'll probably have lunch at Captain George's. What are you going to have? I don't know. It's official. If the man is taking the picture, he should be in the picture. No way. What can I say? And that would be the original bell from the Brighton Town Hall, which was erected in 1884, but destroyed by a tornado in 1973. I hope you enjoyed this uh, tour of Brighton as much as we did. Cheers from Canada. Alright, go scare the birds.